Scrapbooking.com magazine presents the following Luminart article from the February 2013 issue. The Heart of Art with Luminart. Article by Judy Kaufman for Luminart and Splash of Color. This month, mixed media artist Jody Ohl gives the readers of Scrapbooking.com a peek at how she rolls, or more accurately, how she paints and smudges, layers and embellishes, and a whole lot more. Known for bold colors, inspirational, and textural pieces, Jody believes in the power of positivity through art. So Jody, tell us what you've been up to and how Luminart plays into things. Thanks, Judy. Well, as you said, I'm a mixed media artist specializing in paint and paper. I'm constantly looking for supplies that can be used in a multitude of ways. Over the last year, I've been reintroduced to the products of Luminart and Creative Imaginations, who've combined forces with their merged company, Splash of Color, to create a bridge between scrapbooking and the world of mixed media art. I love sharing projects that illustrate how a limited number of products can be combined in different ways. For this presentation, I created a three-piece art journal book that connects well with Valentine's Day. I wanted to tell a secret story, writing a hidden love letter and a few carefully chosen words to send out into the universe for that special someone. To make the book, first, paint your three pieces on one side with black acrylic paint and allow to dry. Choose your scrapbook papers and cut them to size by first tracing the shape of each piece on the back of your paper. Adhere the papers to the plaques with matte medium and use a brayer to remove any air bubbles, then allow to dry. Sand any wayward edges and brush on a light coat of gesso. If you like, use a pencil to write a love letter on one of your pieces. Using hot cinnamon twinkling H2O's paint, lightly paint over the page with the writing so it's hidden a bit but you can still discern a few words. Take scraps of paper and paint with silks acrylic glazes in carmine, solar gold, and cinnamon brown. Repeat on the other pages that have a gesso layer. Use doily paper as a stencil to make textural marks wherever you choose. Use an almost dry brush and a light coating of paint. Once your paint is dry, you can adorn each page with pictures and cut out shapes and words to tell your story. Use a pencil to outline your words and shaped cutouts to make them pop a bit. Another option would be to edge each of the pieces with a darker color, such as the Cinnamon Brown Silks Iridescent Acrylic Glaze. Use scrap paper and individually cut words to embellish the binder clip. The words will be embedded beneath the resin circle that tops the clip. Using a craft knife, recut the slots as needed and add coordinating ribbons. And there you go. A secret love letter for the universe to do with as she wishes. The rest of the projects in this article are shown for inspiration. I'll also be sharing them in Luminart's blog in the coming weeks. Splash of Color is here to guide and inspire, to be a one-stop shop for all your scrapbooking and mixed-media needs. Now it's your turn to tell your story through the art of creating from the heart, the heart of Luminart. A printable project card with complete instructions and a list of supplies can be found by clicking on the step-by-step -step instructions link within the online version of this article. To find the products featured in this Luminart article and shown in these projects, check with your local scrapbook or craft retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article. Don't miss the rest of the great articles and features in this month's issue of Scrapbooking.com magazine.